So let's get started right away. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the transformation matrix using a model that I have already prepared. Here, I have modeled the mesh uncleanly and would like to have it in quads and also make it lighter in terms of data size. To do this, I will first extract this module here, which has far too many polygons. I will select it using a blast node, invert the selection so that I have it alone, and then the other selection will come to the other side for later. And so we can start directly with the lab's axis align node, which can place our object at zero. And because this is not suitable for further work, I have modeled it quickly here. The height is not quite right, so I will adjust it briefly and raise it up. And then we can continue working with it. This tool has the great option that we can access the transformation matrix directly, which means we can output the transformation matrix and have it as a detail attribute. We keep the default name of the attribute and pass it directly to our new object. To do this, we use the attribute transform, deselect the points and primitives, and activate the detail attribute. I will now show you two methods that can quickly access our matrix and move our object back to its place. First, the VEX approach with the attribute wrangler. Here, we only need to write a single line of code that multiplies our point position with the inverted values of our transformation matrix. This may sound a bit complicated, but it is not, because the axis align node has basically stored the transformation data it needed to move our object to zero. To reverse this, we need to multiply with the inverted data. As we can see, it already works quite well. We have successfully moved the new module to the old position using the transformation matrix in our code line. The second way is to work directly with another axis align node and set all options to none and click Restore Transform at the bottom, which does the same thing as our line in the Attribute Wrangler. And we see that it worked too. One disadvantage of this quick method is that our model is already correctly oriented in space. But if we have an object that is turned and twisted in all directions, I'll demonstrate this quickly by trying it out here and rotate it with a Transform node. Then our object would no longer be correctly aligned, but completely twisted. And our Labs Axis Align node, of course, does not know how our object is rotated. Since our modeled object is already correctly oriented, we have a problem when we want to project it back, that it will not be displayed properly. If we assume that our model, which was made with quads, was modeled in the same spot as our twisted reference, then it would work again. However, that is not really suitable for working and modeling, since you probably want to do it at the origin with correct axis alignment. To have the best of both worlds, we need to specify the complete axis by ourselves. I'll show you how to approach this next time. See you soon.